Hello and welcome techies. This is Sambhav here. So today we are going to continue with the discussion of our vectors. So in the previous section we have discussed how to create vectors, what are the different types of vectors we can create, how to check the data types and so on and so forth. Right? We have also discussed how to assign names to the elements of the vector. So this is continuation from the previous video and in today's session we are going to talk about how to access the values of the vector. So once we have created a vector how can we access the elements or the components of it. Second we are going to see what are the different methods using which we will be able to access and finally we will practice that we will have a hands-on experience with accessing the values of the vector. Now let's start. So there are basically three methods or you can say there are three ways using which we can access the values or the elements of the vector. The, one, the first method is through the index. Index is nothing but by specifying the position. When we say accessing the value through the index we mean that we will specify the position of the elements in the vector to access the values. Second method is through the names. If we have assigned names to the elements of the vector, we can call those names and we can access them. And third one is through the logical references. Logical references means we will specify the logical values which is true and false to access the values of the vector. Right? Now, in the previous section, we have seen that we have created vectors like even and odd. Right? Now, how do we access these values? So I hope you remember we have created an even vector and we have created an odd vector and we have also assigned names to it. Correct. Now, this is the first method, method one, which is uh, using the index that is nothing but specifying the position. Now, let us start how to do it. Now it is really really very easy to access the elements of a vector using their index and position. All you have to do is you just have to use a square bracket and before the square bracket you just have to specify the vector name. So let's say we will specify the vector name and then we will use the square bracket and inside the square bracket we will specify the index or the position right index or the position this is so simple so let's start doing it let's assume that I want to access the first three elements or let's say for example let's start with a simple example let's say assume that I want to access the fifth element of the vector the fifth element of the even vector which is 10 how do we do it so we will specify the vector name then we'll use a square bracket and then we'll specify the position so this will return the fifth element of the vector which is 10. Now let's assume that I want to access the seventh element. So I'll just write 7 and we will be able to get it. So the seventh element of the vector is your 14. Right? So we have got it. Now let's say I want to access first three elements. That is your first element, second element and third element which is 2, 4 and 6. So what we are going to do? even and we will specify the first second and third element but if we specify like this r will throw me an error stating that it correct incorrect number of dimensions so it is not able to actually interpret what exactly it means because there are multiple values separated by comma so what we will do we will use a combined function this is nothing if you look at this portion it is nothing but a vector vector is nothing but a series of elements so we are saying hey listen we want to extract a series of element and these specify the series of positions so it is 1 3 and 5 <coughs> so we have extracted it <coughs> sorry next we are going to extract let's say third element fifth element and ninth element so we will give even combine third element fifth element and ninth element so we will get the result right let me print the even vector once again now 
the logic which we are writing here to extract or to indicate the position it completely depends on you you can specify any logic let's say for example i have to extract uh, third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth right so sometimes it will become tedious for us to write 3 comma 4 comma 5 so in those situation you can use the colon function let's say third to eighth 3 is to 8 which we have already discussed in the previous section so you see we can get this value right uh, what if I want to extract the values from the even vector which are in odd position odd position means first is an odd position third is an odd position fifth is an odd position seventh is an odd position ninth is an odd position so what if I want to extract the elements of the even vector which are in the odd position so pretty easy in the previous session we have discussed how to create an odd vector and even vector so it was uh, using a sequence function and then we have to specify the length of it I mean we will have to give a starting number and we have to give the uh, from to and then the by statement now what is to here from is one it starts from how many elements are there there are 10 elements how do we find that we can use the length function length of even will return 10 so there are 10 elements 10 elements so first element and then we will extract the value what is the end position the end position is 10 and by value will be 2 same as how we are creating an odd vector so this will generate a odd vector right this will generate an odd vector which will be like 1 3 5 so on and so forth so this is a logic which will actually fit inside the square bracket so now we will write even and then we will give the square bracket around it now if I execute it you see you are getting the value from the first position second position uh, sorry first third fifth seventh and ninth right similarly let's say for example I want to extract the values uh, from the odd vector which are in the even position even position means 2 4 6 8 and 10 so what we will do we will give odd odd square bracket and sequence from even position so it will start from 2 and the length of it is 10 comma 2 right so 3 5 11 so you can see this is a the uh, second position fourth sixth eighth and tenth position now assume that you have been given this value and I don't I want to extract all the values from the odd vector let's say except the fifth vector all the elements from the odd vector except the fifth element that means I don't want 9 I want 1 3 5 7 and then I want 11 13 15 17 and 19 now how do we do that it is pretty easy all you have to do is whichever value you want to eliminate which you don't want to appear you will specify that position with minus sign so I don't want the value from the fifth position so you will see I have got fourth element and fifth element is missing because I have specified minus 5 and then 6 7 let's say the question may be eliminate a uh, uh, third fourth and fifth element from the odd vector so combine minus 3 comma minus 4 comma minus 5 right so if I execute it you see you have get you got the values first element second element third fourth fifth element is missing and then we have sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth element so this is the first method where we are accessing the value using the index or the position now we have a second method where we can specify the names where we can access the elements of the vector by using their name so let me give the second method accessing using the names of the of the vector elements It is also very much similar to the previous method only difference is that in spite of you specifying the position see here we are specifying the position in spite of specifying the position we only have to specify the names let's say for example uh, from the odd vector so let me pull up my odd vector and 
let's say for example from the odd vector I want to get the fifth element so what will I do same procedure odd square bracket square bracket and I can give the name so it is odd 5 and I can specify that odd square bracket let's say I want to access the third element fourth element and fifth element so I can give combine function and I will give odd 3 odd 4 odd 5 right and I can execute so you see you are getting odd 3 4 and 5 all right now sometimes writing odd 3 odd 4 odd 5 this might also become very very tedious correct can we use any shortcut to get this value let's say for example odd 1 2 3 4 5 so it, be, it might become very 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 tedious for us so we'll write specify the odd function and then we can specify paste 0 and what do we want to paste here we want to paste odd sorry odd and then I can say 1 is to 5 so this will actually pull up the value uh, sorry it is not pulling it up so let me see paste 0 function oh sorry it is paste 0 and let's try with this see I made a mistake I just written paste it was supposed to be paste 0 so what we are doing I am actually creating a new element odd with the paste function and till here right so this is how you can access the names you access the elements of the vector using names as well right I, I by specifying the names of individual element now we have the third method method 3 where we will access the elements of the vector using logical references logical references so logical references what are the logical values we have what are the logical value sorry logical values are true and false right so we can access true and we can specify true and false to access the value from the vector now what will happen is true true will return the value and false will suppress the value right let's say for example even vector we have an even vector so I want to access the value based on uh, the logical position so let's say I am writing combine true comma false comma true comma false comma true comma false so what will happen so the first value will appear second value will be suppressed because it is false for false value for false wherever you have specified false those values will be suppressed right again let me use true comma false comma true comma false so how many elements we have specified two four six eight ten now if i execute this you will see we are getting the value from the first position because first value was true second value was false so we don't have the value in the second position third value is true so again we have r has returned the third value in the third position fourth value is missing sixth and so on and so forth right now what will happen if i write assume even square bracket of combine true comma false what will happen if i write true comma false just two values let's see the result now what it is doing the first value it has given and the second value you will notice is missing even two is missing right again even even uh, the fourth value is uh, uh, missing first value is there second value is missing third value is there fourth value is missing what it does is it is actually repeating it is actually repeating this for the entire length of the vector so true false true false true false true false so you you will notice here that both are giving the same result here though we have just specified two elements but what it does is it is actually repeating till the end of the vector even let's assume even and now i'm specifying combine true sorry true comma false comma true comma true comma false sorry false comma false now what will it do how many elements we have specified two four six now let us 
look at the result first element must be present it is there second element must be missing so it is not there even two is missing third element fourth element must be present third and fourth is there then fifth and sixth missing and now from where do we get that seven nine and ten it is actually again repeating this portion right it is repeating that portion so you must be a little careful when you are specifying the uh, when you are trying to access the value from a vector using the logical references clear so guys these are few questions i have uh, given here based on the odd vector and the even vector and in the second slide also i have mentioned few questions but this is using the object names and this is using the logical reference i want you to try these questions for yourself and you can uh, send me your uh, quote by commenting so please feel free to comment or if you have any questions related to it please feel free to ask me you can comment so that i can reply to your questions i hope you have liked the video please don't don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, my channel and please press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get it also please share with your friends so that they can make the maximum utilization of my videos thank you so much guys you have a wonderful day ahead